All right, so uh, today I'm gonna to be training uh, some events. What is uh, day one of uh, two of my event days. Um, I have a contest coming up in June, the Rainier Classic, um, has six events across two days. So that's why I have, I have two event days. So today is gonna to be a little bit of car deadlifting uh, and then a sandbag medley where I have to do toss some sandbags and carry some sandbags. So before you saw my warm up, um, pretty general warm up, um, especially for my event days, what I do is start with some backward sled drag, just to get the heart rate going, um, get a little bit of uh, sweat going, warm up my legs. Uh, and then I did a couple other things, with some bounding, um, some single leg jumps, some footwork, um, since I will be moving around um, and trying to be fast. Helps warm up the ankles, get me a little bit more coordinated um, and kind of ready to go. So um, after that, we did a little bit of trap bar, um, just to simulate the car deadlift a little bit to warm up. Um, it's not exactly um, what you would do with a car deadlift, but um, it'll warm me up good enough. So we'll go ahead and hop on the car deadlift now and uh, load it up and see what we can do. Um, yeah. How do you know how much you're actually lifting? So it's really hard to tell um, how much you're lifting with this. Uh, sometimes they'll use a crane scale to figure it out, but really we just try to go off of um, difficulty or perceived difficulty. Um, you know, it's a, it's a tough event to do um, in a contest um, because it's really hard to get that weight right. Most times it ends up being relatively light because, I mean, this will feel really, really light and then if you change one adjustment, it won't even leave the ground. So um, most events, you're gonna see people pulling 10 to 20 reps in order to win. So it's important to be conditioned and, and get used to this uh, setup a little bit. So. So when you're doing this, they give you this amount of handle. You want to go as far out as possible. And like you saw, I was like this, right? Try to get out in front. Make the lever as long as possible. Um, it helps quite a bit. This is pretty easy. It's going to feel weird. So like, it feels really easy at the beginning. At the top, there's like the truck kind of full weight comes out, so it feels weird. Really drive into your legs. There you go, good. There you go. Nice. First next one. I want you to sit up here. Me or him? I was gonna say, I'm like, um, all right. I mean, it would be cool to get some shots of- uh, I'm, I mean, too. I'm not opposed to it. Um, so what we're trying to do here is like, manipulate this a little bit to create a certain level of difficulty um, and ranges of difficulty. So I'm not really sure what the weight's gonna be at the show. Um, so we wanna be able to train for something that's really heavy that might only be able to get six to eight reps or they might be light, so I'm conditioned enough to do that. So we're just gonna play around with the weight. We're gonna have Sturgeon get in the back here. Um, he's 400 pounds, yep. so we add a little bit of weight. Woo! How did that weight feel for you? The first weight? Yeah. yeah. Fine. When I was doing that, it didn't feel too hard. I was kind of like, I was like blacking out a little bit. It gets really heavy at the top. Um, so it's a really weird feeling, but you can just keep going the whole time. Do you want to do this again or you want me to hop in the back? Really drive down, push the wall away with your legs. And try to lean back. Big raise back. Upright. There you go. Good. There you go. That's good. Nice. Does that feel too rad? The back of the truck at the bottom is kind of throwing me off. Yeah. Yeah, that third one you got out of position because of the bounce. So that's where um, you really want to like control the eccentric a little bit. Um, you'll still get a little bit of bounce, but it won't throw you off. Because the other thing too is like, if it bounces and it comes up and then down as you go to lift, it's gonna, it's gonna throw you back down. Yeah, so um, the more you control it, the less bounce there's gonna be. Um, bounce can help, but it can also just like destroy you. So yeah. Overall, felt good though. Yeah, I, I would assume 
what you just did is either going to be at or a little below compass weight. This is also like a shape. See how much further out I am? Yeah. You were here. That little bit is going to make a difference. Okay. And then watch where my finishing position is. Because also, your hands are here, but the strap is pinned back here. That's why I like these straps too. Because you can actually, like, you're actually grabbing your hand. Like I can't even get into the position I finish in here because I fall back. So um, just find that sweet spot will help. Yeah. Um, but also like, is it is it hard for you to control the eccentric? No, I was just amped up and going. Because like like this, you'll get about a you know inch or two less range of motion each time. Because if you're Click down. Yeah. So you'll be able to string much more reps together. It'll be more apparent as you are pushing it. Um, like we'll do, we'll do a set without me in it. And like I'm about to do a set here. I made myself time like 30, 40 seconds. Just gonna pull for that amount of time. Okay. Um, and that'll basically be it. <clears throat> and then you'll notice like when you're 20. 30 seconds in, you're gonna be like, I like I need to make this easier somehow. Yeah. We just finished up uh, some truck deadlifting, car deadlift. Uh, we're gonna move off to a sandbag medley. Um, so the sandbag medley for the contest is gonna be two throwing sandbags and then two carrying sandbags. So we're gonna kind of replicate that today. We're gonna have two throwing sandbags down there and then a 300 pound sandbag that we're gonna carry down, throw another sandbag and then carry it back. Um, contest weight actually goes to 350, but um, this is still gonna get some good practice in us. So one tip that I like to use is hand sanitizer when we're doing the kind of these things because there's alcohol in it, it'll dry your skin out. So once you do that, then you can add some chalk to it. It'll stick a lot better. And then you'll have a much better grip. That makes sense. Hey, coming at you. A little bit of chemistry today. Well, biology, I guess. Hey, physics, who gives a shit? <laughs> gonna have some uprights that'll be 16 feet high so it has to clear 16 feet 
in order for you to be able to go get the next sandbag. So okay. right here, that's like a little over 15 and a half feet. So I flubbed that for second, sand, second throwing sandbag a little bit, but this next set, I'll make sure to get it. So like, once you get that past 16 feet, it unlocks your ability to carry the first sandbag. Once you get it on there, it unlocks your ability to throw the second. Once you get that over, it unlocks your ability to do that. You'll get a time for completing. Okay, ready? Set. Go. So first sandbag, easy. There you go. Good. Good stick. I your chest. There you go. Good. Now walk it. Good. Good. Next sandbag. Take your time. Good throw. Get it, go ahead, get it, get it, get it, throw it But if you get tight in a good position, it's gonna fly up, right? Same kind of thing. You almost did the fall on your back thing, you know? So yeah, just do this one twice. But take a breather. The first one was, uh, you know, probably could have gone over, you know? So it was a good throw. And especially if you watch the video, you'll notice the first one, you weren't really fucking low enough for it. That second one, you were. And it's only a two pound difference. You know, probably maybe felt a little heavier because you're a little more tired. Yeah. Especially if you're going like this, that's going to load your hamstrings and glutes. So that's what they're kind of banking on. It's going gonna, it's gonna to continue you so you can't throw it. And not like, take your time as in, reduce the amount of times you do this. It's only going to throw you off. You'll notice like in Highland games, when guys do that, they go like this, here, and then they go here and throw. Because the more you do this, the more there's gonna be variation and you're not and you're gonna kind of second guess where you wanna throw. Right? Yeah. So yeah, it's different. If you watch how like Brian Shaw throws a keg, it's kind of like what you're doing when you're trying to camp up, but like because the bag has a tether to it, that's what fucks you up. If you watch him throw sandbags, especially there's not a lot of video of it, he approaches a lot differently. Where he reaches back a lot slower and then you know. Yeah. The first one, you were just a little far forward, so it didn't <sighs> distance, but every, they got high, both of them. Sick. I was worried about that second one. It's so weird, because like, it feels so light, because you just pick the, yeah. so really throws like, because it makes me not want to like fully get in there, but I have to. Whew. Well, I'm just kind of glimpsing into my training. I have a little bit more enough to do, some accessories, but all that stuff's kind of boring. So thanks for tuning along with my training. Um, I have five more weeks to go to this contest, so it's only gonna ramp up from here, and uh, we should be good to go all the day out. Thanks.